G'day. Can't believe it. It's Friday here in Australia. It's Friday. It's Friday. I was just seeing somebody a happy birthday and uh, the general consensus is when I share <laughs> wish somebody a happy birthday with singing to them, <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> I don't think it's laugh in a good way. Anyway, I don't care. I... I like seeing happy birthday to people. So, it's Friday and we are up to four minutes in eye open meditation. So, today, when being with the eye open meditation, my breathing started to settle and my heart rate started to slow. So, I better elaborate on that because that's technically probably not correct so being a very anxious person for most of my life I would feel as if the ziphoid is you know pushed up under my lungs you know so I'm always taking shallow breaths when I do yoga yoga and when I've been to class the teacher would off me often pull me up and you know encourage me to take deeper breaths so that's probably technically correct in that yes I am just shallow breathing all the time so that's what was happening when um, being with the eye open meditation today and with that I when my breathing relaxed and it felt as if my heart rate was slowing it really felt as if I was more expanded. And when I look back on that now and as I'm sharing that with you, that is probably correct because I'm taking deeper breaths, so I'm taking in, um, you know, more oxygen, so then I am relax relaxed, my body's relaxed. So, yes, I am technically probably more expanded. So how has the eye open meditation been for you? I invite you to be curious about your experiences and, and I encourage you to write a journal. Speaking of expansion, so another technique that I work with, I won't share with you today. Um, I am cleaning today ready for the open inspection tomorrow for the auction for um, the house for the 29th of May. So working through this other exercise and you know thinking about money you know with the auction coming up etc etc and I am so grateful yet I don't know how to explain this I felt more expansive, like heaps more expansive. And in that instance, I had a different frequency relationship with money. And in that instance, I could see different possibilities. I could see different opportunities. I could acknowledge the decisions, the actions that I have made regarding finances all from that one moment from having an energetic frequency experience that was very different from previous experiences, very expansive, very open, very relaxing, very whole, very complete. So who else am I describing? I'm also describing the relationship that I am growing with myself. I see myself as valuable, I see myself as whole, I see myself as complete, I am more in the space of joy and now I have resonated and connected with this experience of expansion. And so if you go back to the history of, of money, so you know like we're all hunters and gatherers or you know, then we started to grow crops or, you know, some people had cattle, you know, and then we started to do an exchange or a barter and, you know, don't, don't jump on me about the technical components of all of this. Then we start, well, we started to trade 
and then you know along comes currency currency of you know whatever description it was currency being a a mechanism of um being able to put aside for a rainy day that's an Aussie way of saying it so you know like your crops may come off in the fall and you know you so you've got this big stockpile of grain I'm talking about Canadian <laughs> you've got this big stockpile of grain and then you know no crops go back into the ground until you know spring summer next year so you've got these gaps in between, you know, when the quote unquote cash flow is coming in. So I see, saw, and in that minute of experiencing that frequency of expansion, that money is a opportunity for us to expand. Money is an intention to expand. Money is an a... Um, we are naturally growing and expanding like you know talking about crops you know you put a crop in the ground and it grows and expands grows and expands to be the complete crop the whole crop the beautiful crop just as it is and money is no different yet we tend to have a very different relationship with money so here we are talking about celebrating real profit and real profit in that experience is very expansive, very open, very value adding. So who else am I talking about? I'm talking about you, talking about you seeing the value in you and you seeing the value in others and you seeing the value in relationships. It's an expansive energy. It's a loving energy. It's a nurturing energy. I invite you to be curious about how that conversation resonates or doesn't resonate for you. I shared that with someone else and she said, oh, please bottle that and send that over to me so I can sip a bit of that as well. So I'm curious and I'm going to explore how I can be in all of that expansive, exquisite, loving, nurturing energy with all of me and in regards to money. You know, trained as an accountant, I'm looking at figures, talking about money. So how can I be in that beautiful, exquisite space more often? Wherever you are in the world, my name is Kerry O'Shea. This is Celebrate Real Profit and it's Friday here in Australia. So have a great day and have a great weekend. Bye for now.